What's going on, everybody? This your boy S from Hidden Agenda. And today I'm doing my grow series and I'm teaching people how to grow. Um, prices and things like that are going to be available soon. And I can teach you step by step how to have a successful grow. But but for right now, I'm going to get into a couple of things and um, I'm going to let ev everyone know what's the main important things that you need to have a successful grow. So I'm going to start off with number one is seeds and clones. Um, there are a lot of companies out here that sell seeds. Uh, there's a lot of companies out here that sell clones, but you have to make sure that you pick the right ones that you want. Um, and later on, I can give you my top five seed companies and stuff like that. So number two is picking the right location, you know, for your grow. That's very, very important because you don't want to grow into a, a place where it's it's not spacious and you don't have the proper, you know, height to grow. So you can pick either outside or indoors. So spacing and location is, is very important. Um, number three, you want to pick a auto flower or a photo period, you know, depending on which one you're interested. Because in, autos, it pretty much tell you what it is. It automatically grows on its own. Um, and you can keep the light cycle at 18 and 6. And then you have photo period plants, which you go from 18 to 6 to 12, 12 later on in the flower. So you got to make sure which one you want. You want an auto um, or a photo. And I'll tell you later on which one I feel is the best. Number four is pot size. You want to know what what type of pots that you want to use for your plants because you can use a small pot you can use a big pot it just depends on what type of size you want your your plants to grow um, and later on I can tell you what pot sizes are good to me um, so that's very important as well and number five is your soil you know you want to make sure that you pick the right soils you know you to us at Hidden Agenda, we use only organic soil. We only use soil that that are, that are fits our seeds, and you don't have to use anything other than water with our soils. And later on, I can tell you guys my mix, um, what type of soils that I use. Okay, number six is lighting. Lighting is very very important. You know. In order to have a successful grow, you, you have to know the distance where you have to put your lighting um, at every stage of from the seedlings to the, the vegetative stage to the flowering. Um, and I'll tell you later on, give you some good tips on the lighting aspects on what I use because because this this course right here. I'm just going to give you everything that I know how to do in order to make a successful grow. And, and, and all of my grows are 100% successful. All right. So number seven is humidity and temperature. That's very, very important. You know, you have to make sure you have the right things because you don't want your humidity to go past 90 or 99. Um, so you want to keep your, your, uh, humidity at a certain percentage and I'll tell you what's the right humidity, um, and temperature that I use personally. Okay. So number eight is airflow. Airflow is very, very important because you want your plants to ha have evenly airflow. You want the air to be flowing within your plants. You want to see your plants you know, move a little bit. You want to see the leaves move. And so you have to have the right airflow. That's very important. And number nine, um, you have to make sure that the degrees and the, the Fahrenheit is at a certain point. You know, me, I keep mine from 60 to 85 on the Fahrenheit level. Um, so that's, I'm going to run a little video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I am the community. This is S. See you One. soon. One. Purchase your seeds or clones from a trustworthy vendor online. Seek out clones or seeds that are most appropriate for your requirements. Clones are a reliable option since they are already pre-pollinated, ensuring you receive female plants that yield the desired flowers. Therefore, I recommend choosing clones. This early phase of cultivation will be the most budget-friendly aspect of the entire process. Opting for clones will not only save you time but also guarantee a superior yield of top quality buds. Don't skimp on quality. Determine whether you prefer energizing sativa, soothing indica, or high CBD medicinal strains. If you're aiming for a quick harvest for personal use, consider the Ruderalis variety. This self-flowering strain is a compact plant that reaches heights of 3 to 4 feet. It can be sown from mid-April to mid-May and is ready for harvest by late July. These plants start flowering 4 to 5 weeks after germination. Unlike indica and sativa, they are not influenced by the photoperiod. On average, they complete their flowering cycle in 12 weeks.